Hi, my name is Corey. I'm Brady. I'm Mitch. I'm Kate. I'm Allie. And I'm Jake. We are the Wassa West Design Team, and we accept the Source America Design Challenge. My hands are fine. Last May, we visited Jennifer Rothmeyer, the supervisor at Prevocational Services, in search of a system in need of improvement. We decided to focus our efforts on the process of industrial strap cutting. All of the consumers of Prevocational Services are affected by various physical and mental disabilities. One of the goals that Prevocational Services has for every consumer is to be able to perform every job on site. Prior to our design, Prevocational Services had two main methods for cutting strap in order to accommodate the wide range of consumer capability. The first way was for the consumers to cut the strap using an everyday scissors. Over time, the scissors would dull and eventually would stop cutting the strapping. One of our subject matter experts, Jenny, has a withered hand, which makes the scissors method extremely difficult when she has limited use of one of her hands. In order to try and solve some of the problems, a jig was created by mounting tin snips to a wood base plate. However, there were still issues with this jig. When feeding the strapping through, it would often bend and the tin snips would fail to cut. Our team was asked to find some way to make this process easier and more effective while avoiding a fully automated process. In order to fully understand what kind of force and what type of equipment was needed to cut the strap, we constructed a temporary pneumatic system to test our design and efficiency of cutting the strap. After many design possibilities that confronted the problems presented, we concluded that our final design was the best option. The result was the JKL Strap Cutter. The machine is powered by an air compressor that feeds into the bottom section of the machine's table surface. Outfitted with valves, pneumatic timers, and hoses, the air actuated pneumatic cylinder performs the required cutting action. When connected to the wooden base stand, the activated piston within the cylinder acts upon the top half of the modified pair of tin snips, while the bottom half remains stationary. This allows the two halves to come up together, effectively cutting the strap. We also allowed the possibility to change the frequency of the cuts the machine performs to suit the user's desired speed. After the strap is cut, it is placed within the bin via the cutout in the surface table. The strap now within the bin is then ready to be discarded. As added safety measures, the JKL strap cutter was given an emergency stop button that immediately shuts down the machine should anything go wrong. The strap cutter is also equipped with a detachable plastic shield that prevents any things, namely fingers, to go near the tin snips. With the prototype ready for action, we took our machine to pre-vocational services to have it tested out. The consumer's initial reaction was a little bit surprised but eager to use it. However, the first step was teaching them how to use it. After the rundown, we let them try it out for themselves. Understandably, there was some problems and confusion during the initial testing of the strap cutter, as this was a brand new concept to them. However, after some getting used to, they were eventually capable of operating the machine with less difficulty. As the goal of the project was to aid the consumer in cutting more strap at around 6 inches with less difficulty, a calculation was done to determine the amount of strap cut before and after the introduction of the JKL strap cutter. The average amount of strapping cut with regular tin snips and scissors was around 5 straps per minute. With the JKL strap cutter, the number increased to about 6.5. While the improvement was only 1.5 more, the amount of effort taken to cut the strap was put into consideration. Prior to the machine, subject matter expert Jenny had trouble cutting the strap with a poor hand. With the machine, however, there was no squeezing motion easing the physical stress in Jenny's hand. Afterwards, Jenny expressed her feelings towards the new JKL strap cutter. This new machine. I like this new machine. Do you like it a little or a lot? A lot. What's better about this machine? The straps. Why do you like this machine, Jenny? Because I what? like doing it. You do? Yeah, I love it. Does it make it easier or is it harder? It makes it easier. Is it because it cuts on its own or do you have to cut? It cuts on its own. It's a machine for it. Can you cut using it with your eyesight? Is it easy? It's easy. Okay. How about with your hand? Because you have one really good hand and one okay hand. I can. I like it so much, Jennifer. Okay, focus. <laughs> Although far from perfect and requiring some getting used to, the JKL strap cutter will allow for easier and quicker strap cutting. 
Though our working prototype is complete as far as the competition goes, we plan on continuing the development of the machine for pre-vocational services.